Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18 and some of the features that are not coming to all their devices. So with the iOS 18, as you probably know, Apple is supporting the same devices as they did with iOS 17. So if you have a device on iOS 17, you will be able to also update it to iOS 18, even though not all the features will be available for all iPhones. So we're taking a look at 10 different features here that you will not get on your iPhone with iOS 18 if you have an older iPhone. Now, first of all is messages via satellite. Now with iOS 18, Apple has introduced this new feature where you will be able to actually send a message via satellite when you don't have a reception on your iPhone. Just like calls via satellite, now you will have the ability to do that with messages, but that's limited. It's only limited to the iPhone 15 series and the iPhone 14. Now, of course, the newer iPhones will also support this feature, but the oldest iPhone that does support this feature are the iPhone 14 series. Next up, we're moving under the settings app. So on iOS 18, going to the settings under accessibility, you will find a new feature here called eye tracking. Now with eye tracking, what you can do is basically you enable the feature right here. It takes you through a short setup wait, just ask you to follow like a dot, which will basically help you set this up and then you will have it right here enabled. What it does, it basically allows you to just control anything on your iPhone simply by looking at it. So any of the buttons that you have on your iPhone, anything can be controlled through your eyes. That's also limited, but fortunately it's limited to the iPhone 12 and a newer, if you have any of the iPhone XS or the iPhone 11s, you won't be getting this feature, but again, is one of those features that also supports quite a lot of iPhones, so from the iPhone 12 and up. Next up is call recording. Now this is another feature that actually is very popular, something that a lot of users have been requesting, and Apple finally has added this feature to iOS. Now with iOS 18, you won't be getting this feature on any of the iPhones. It comes with iOS 18.1, and it only comes to the iPhone 15s and the iPhone 16s that will be released later this year. So any other iPhones, even though we have some great devices like the iPhone 14 Pro Max and all those devices are pretty great in my opinion still they won't be able to get these features this this feature right here the ability to record your calls will be available to only devices that do support apple intelligence so that's of course pretty disappointing i know a lot of users request this feature all the like different alternatives to record phone calls on iPhones are pretty popular because this is a much requested feature. But unfortunately, again, it will only be available to the iPhone 15, 15 Pro actually and the 15 Pro Max, not even the simple iPhones and also the iPhone 16 series. Now, another cool new feature that Apple has added to iOS 18 that is also limited to a few devices is the ability to transcribe. So basically like on the notes app here, we can tap the clip here and we have the ability to record audio. Now, when you record this audio, you will also be able to actually transcribe this audio, whatever you have recorded right here on the notes app. Again, this is limited, but again, fortunately it's limited to the iPhone 12 and newer. So only the oldest devices that support iOS 18 won't be getting this feature. The same goes for music haptics. This is another new feature on iOS 18 and you will be able to find it right here under the accessibility section. So when you go here, you can enable music haptics for your device. Again, this is also limited to the iPhone 12 and newer. You enable it right here and it shows you the apps where you do have this feature available. Again, iPhone 12 and newer, you will have this feature on your device. And then is Siri 2.0 or the new Siri that Apple has talked about at WWDC 2022, 2024 actually. You won't be getting this feature as well on most devices that do support iOS 18. So the new Siri with the on-screen awareness and all those cool new features that you saw at WWDC 2024 will only be available to the 15 Pros. 
15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, and all the new iPhone 16s that will be released in September. So you're basically, currently we have only six iPhones that will support the new Siri. So the two iPhones, 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, and then we have the 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro, and the 16 Pro Max. Only six devices out of all the iPhones that do support iOS 18 will get the new Siri with all the cool new features like of course as I said the on-screen awareness, the ability to work within apps and all that fortunately only just for the latest iPhones. And then we have the writing tools, the cool new features of Apple Intelligence which basically will help you write or rewrite everything that you want. You select the text, you will have the features here, tap right there for Apple Intelligence and there you get all the cool new features. Now these are of course pretty cool, the rewriting tools and the ability to write something like professionally or just summarize something. These are great features to have but again these are features that will be available only to Apple Intelligence devices. Again 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max and the new iPhone 16 series. And as you probably can understand by some of the features we talked about, all the other Apple intelligence features also will be available only to the iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max and the iPhone 16 series which will basically be the main selling point of the iPhone 16 series Apple intelligence. All the features that come with Apple Intelligence like the Image Playground which allows us to create different images using AI, Genmoji which allows us to generate new emojis out of just like an idea that you might have, photo editing, the ability to just clear objects from your photos, all these cool features that you probably saw at WWDC 2024, all part of Apple Intelligence will be available only to the iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max and the new iPhone 16s. Now we're also getting a totally new mail app on iOS 18 even though it is coming a later probably somewhere around like 18.3 or maybe even 18.4 there will be a brand new mail app but that again is only part of the newer devices. Only devices with Apple intelligence will get that update and those features on their new mail app. And last but not least, if you use the Home app and use Home accessories with your iPhone, wireless smart lock opening will be available just to some of the devices, not all of them supporting iOS 18. Now luckily this will be supported by the iPhone 11 and up. The only devices that are not getting this feature are the iPhone 10s and the 10s Max. So basically this will let the Home app just like get that update which will allow you to actually wirelessly unlock a door equipped with the ultra wide band. So that means that the iPhone 11 and up will actually support this feature. Unfortunately if you have a 10s or the 10s Max you won't be getting the feature on iOS 18. So that's basically it for this video guys. These are 10 of the features that not all the iPhones are getting with iOS 18 and unfortunately as you can see some of the best features the new Apple intelligence features will be only available for the newest devices. Of course we have great devices with the iPhone 14 series and the iPhone 13s but none of those devices are getting Apple intelligence so only the 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max and the iPhone 16. So that's basically it for this video guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, subscribe for more iOS 18 videos and I'll see you on the next one.